When you look far enough away, everything seems to fit exactly where it's at. I don't think the universe is concerned with where it's going because no matter where it is, it's exactly where it is. The beauty of loneliness and being lost and not knowing is that if you step back, it creates a story. There would be no stories, no art, no point of life without these things. And we're all creating life together. Hi, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, today's video, I'm not gonna have a big long video for you because I'm stressed out. Welcome, this channel is full of adventure, travel, neurodivergence, and just the reality of things. And the reality of things right now is that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I always get scared before I leave. Um, there's a lot of, I feel a lot of pressure a lot of times for a lot of different things. But um, I think being alone solo a lot is stressful and then being neurodivergent and solo is stressful and then traveling all the time is stressful and then not having a home is stressful. These are things that I've chosen, so I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining to you why I get kind of scared. I have to leave here. And what I'm stressed about is getting to New York and then getting from New York to New Jersey, staying with my friend, and then getting back to the airport and then going to the airport and getting to London all efficiently. Your attention, please. So I'm at the airport right now. I've had a very pleasant experience with um, British Airways. I always fly United and now I'm just like, I should be flying British Airways because they've been very, very kind, very easy. Bada bing, bada boom, traveling's been a breeze so far. So I was anxious for no reason. Now, all I have to do is just get into London. So today's topic is why I don't believe that I'm relevant and big on social media or something like that. I don't know my title it yet, but that's like the general thing. And these are just thoughts that I have of kind of why I hate social media, um, why I don't really perform as well as I would like to on it, and why it's my fault. <laughs> and also why I'm scared and what's going on. This is just a sit down talking video. I don't really do these anymore. Uh, I get overwhelmed and social media is very overwhelming and consuming. And I've finally placed why I think I don't do well, number one, and also to why I don't, like I like social media a lot, but I also really don't like it. Wait, we need a, com not a commercial. We need a break from me just rambling and talking too much. So I'm leaving here soon. I always try different things for my hair. I wanna figure something out before I leave so um, I pack the right hair color with me and I go to freshen it up. So this is what I have tried out and what I use now. Right now I use Arctic Fox Transylvania for the black color. And then I'm like, maybe I'll like put a blue tint in it so I got ear area blue, which I used to use ear all the time, but I don't like this blue. And then I'm gonna try this Adore Purple Black. So this is purple and black together. I'm gonna put that in my hair. And it look, doesn't really look like it needs it, but you can't really tell on camera, but the roots need redone. I need to redo my hair, whether it's orange or black, like often, at least like maybe once a week or something for it to stay the color that it is. It's, it's worse with black because it, the black color gets in my nails and it makes my nails look dirty, even though it's a huge pet peeve, pet peeve of mine. I hate dirty nails. So now my nails just always look dirty because if I like scratch my head or if I just like rinse my hair out, nails are black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never, I've never tried this brand before. The, the Arctic Fox is a very, very blue tinted dye. So this is purple black, which is a different fox purple that I was using. So maybe I'll put more purple in this because it's pretty dark. You're not really going to be able to notice this much, but I'll show you tomorrow in the sunlight. Also, bleeding, the bleeding of black hair dye, like Arctic Fox bleeds really badly. So that's why I'm trying to find a different one that doesn't bleed so bad. And a lot of people are like, I miss your orange hair. Go back, go back. It's like, do not realize that I can't go back. So there's no point in you guys saying, not you guys, there's no point in people saying, go back to orange. I don't want to, number one. Number two, there's no way. You cannot bleach this out of dreadlocks. Like, this is just it. So I'm going to put this 
up in my hair tie and then I'll show you in the sunlight what it looks like tomorrow. So I started doing YouTube like six or so years ago or something. I've been, I've been doing videos like my whole life. It's just something that I just know and that I just do. And I would do it whether it was my job or not. Now that it's my job and it's been like this for a long time, um, it just gives me more motivation to do it. But the part that I hate about it is that I don't feel like I can express myself properly through talking. And I've made hundreds and hundreds of videos of me talking at the camera. And I still don't, I don't look at those videos and be like, that's me. Because what you're seeing right now is a, a human flesh trying to grunt out expression. What makes me really feel like me is when I can do like creative videos or pictures like I do on Instagram, but ones where I don't have to talk. And I realized I don't, I, I've become articulate because I needed to, but I don't like it. And I think it goes along with being autistic or ADHD or neurodivergent is that I don't express myself properly in how I want to. And I don't think a lot of people do by talking like this. I don't look at me and be like, this is me because you guys see this. This is what you see because it's all that I put out. You know, this is what I can put out. I think communication is very lacking in terms of expression. So um, I've changed a lot over the years and a lot of you guys noticed that. Like, look at these past videos. Actually, you know what, Gabriel, Michael, I feel bad. Let's make her a human radiator just for, a, that'll be a, like a pro. God, is, is, is being a human heater a pro? Oh, you know, I didn't really think about it, but too late now. <laughs> and now it's not a pro. I, I sweat so much all the time. People get next to me and they're like, whoa. <laughs> It's actually a repellent. I am built to repel other human beings. It's actually quite impressive. I mean, it's embarrassing to me because I'm like, that's not me at all. And I'll look at this video, I'll be like, that's not me at all. There's elements of me in there, but it's like social media can only let you see a portion, a small snippet of something. And it's sad because you guys don't truly know me, but nobody does because I don't let people in like that. So it's very interesting to me, um, social media and expressing yourself through this type of format has its pros, but it definitely has its cons. And that's one of them. And it's hard for me to even express what I'm trying to say here. But that's why I don't like social media because I don't feel like I'm expressing myself. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll watch something that I did. I'm like, I'm deleting that. I have changed a lot through the years. And on this other topic of why I'm not big on social media, on YouTube anyways, I'm... Mid, I'm small, mid-sized, um, but I haven't grown past that. And I was like in Japan or whatever, but it's because I'm not really relevant. Like, and I, I'm okay with that because it's, I'm not a relevant person. I'm not going to do what everyone else is doing because that's what gets views. I know what could get views and I could do that, but it would be so inauthentic that I would hate myself. <laughs> and I want to reiterate this to you guys of what this, what I want this channel to be. And even if it puts me back or doesn't, I don't grow from it, I want us all to be very authentic and as real as we can be through this limited means of conversation or communication. And that's my main goal for this channel and for my life. There's been times where I have done things just to get views back in like Los Angeles days and stuff. And I did have to go through that and learn, but that's not me. And it's not anyone really, people do things and they're good at it. And some, maybe some people it is them, but I'm not a very relevant person. If you're, I think the best life lived is an authentic one. And I'm not saying that I'm the pinnacle of authenticity and truth and blah, 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 but I want to be, and I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think, um, I used to make content that, you know, I'd take an energy drink before I filmed it and I would just be like, <laughs> It'd be really, ex I was really excited and that's good. But I didn't know the things you're supposed to talk about, the things you're not supposed to talk about, this and that and the other. Learned a lot. Uh, everything is very manual for me. So there's a lot of thinking going on at all times. And I, I get really burnt out and I get tired and I get scared that I can't do everything I want to do forever. Like every day I wake up, I'm like, I can't do this. And then I do it every day. It doesn't get any easier. It's like, I can't do this. And then I do it. And that's my routine. And you guys might think I'm brave or this or that or the other, but like I every day wake up with just a very, I'm very scared most times about most things. I'm a bit scared of traveling right now because I've, I'm going to give, make a, my next video is going to be a whole video about 
my living situation now that I don't have an apartment and where I'm going, how I'm doing it. A lot of you guys ask how I do these things. I'm gonna make a whole video about that. And I think momentum is my greatest ally in my lifestyle. It's so up and down, like there's no, there's no stability there. And I think my life is not stable. And for someone with autism, that's hard. Just coming out of the gym now and going home. I am having a lot of anxiety today. Words, words. If I could just explain what I just said, it's just feelings that I can't express to you guys and I want to and every time I talk to someone it's like I didn't get my point across. My brain makes up things that are just like, oh be scared because of this and that and the other but once you get to it it'll be fine. And I know this logically, I just don't feel it. So whenever you know something logically, you just have to push through the feelings. Um, I don't know how many feelings I'm supposed to push through, but I pushed through a lot. Anyways, that gym is cool. I've been, I've gone here, like I've almost been here, I've been here like three weeks, almost a month. I've been going to that gym. They let me um, pay by week. I always love when gyms do that. It is a nice warehouse gym. So if you're ever in Meadville, it's 531 gym. Um, I don't, I never used to get homesick and I still don't. It's just, since I have ADHD and autism together, autism wants me to have routines, have stability, stay in the same, know and know what's going on. But then my ADHD, I always have to have new experiences. So that's what you guys are seeing here. And they're at war in myself all the time. So that's why I'm always exhausted because I'm trying to feed both of them, but they're both very hungry. And that's my life. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm expressing myself properly in this video. Like I'm just talking. And I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> you have to be relevant to an extent. You have to sell out a little bit to an extent. It's difficult to start and know and to make this as your career is really hard. I've been doing this for years and years and years and it's still every single month I'm, I don't know what's going on. It's not gonna be the same for every single person. Obviously I have a very strange lifestyle that I would choose even if I didn't do social media. Comment your thoughts down below. This is just a thoughtful video. I, I'm just word vomiting, really, but I always love to hear and keep up with you guys. Um, stay tuned for more adventures, and I don't know if I'm going to keep this video up or not. It's kind of just like me sharing thoughts about random things. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next adventure, which is happening now. <laughs> this is it. I'm in my bare feet. Ouch. <laughs> Looks pretty purple, right? I don't know.